science behind this fascinating phenomena from the inner working of the brain to the mysteries beyond our physical realm his imagination and sensory deprivation included illusion but how does this illusion arise and ancient egypt people believed that every individual had a ba Hello and welcome to a new episode of Nish Talk. Today we are diving into the science behind out of body experiences and exploring what makes them so fascinating. Have you ever pondered the mind's ability to transcend the limitations of the body? Join us on this journey as we delve into the science behind this fascinating phenomena. from the inner working of the brain to the mysteries beyond our physical realm let us uncover the truth about out of body experience in fact the beliefs of minds existing without bodies is perhaps one of our oldest superstition deeply integrated within our myths forelocks dreams and possibly even our genetic makeups For example, in ancient Egypt, people believed that every individual had a ba. The path of the soul with the ability to leave the body and journey freely to other lands. Egyptians often depicted it as a bird with a human head, symbolizing the soul's power to transcend physical boundaries, especially during sleep or death. Virtually every society seems to possess similar tales of spirits or entities capable of entering and leaving human body at will throughout history many innocent individuals were persecuted under the beliefs that they were possessed by demons these unfortunate souls likely suffered from mental illness such as schizophrenia whether in victims often experiences voices generating or originating from their own minds historians speculate that one of the selam which is executed in 1692 for unproven possession might have actually suffered from rare genetic condition known as huntington's disease causing uncontrollable limb movements some people claim to have entered a half conscious like state in which their consciousness has left their body and is free to roam throughout the space in hindu and buddhist traditions practitioners often report that as astral projections a state of consciousness where one transcends the physical form of explore higher dimensions of existence for centuries these accounts have intervened with cultural practices serving as ancient counterparts to modern scientific study after body experiences nobel laureate richard feynman always curious about new phenomena even placed himself in a isolation chamber to try to include an out of body experience he his attempt was successful he later wrote that he felt he had actually left his body and observed it from a distance inside the isolation chamber interestingly he remarked I don't see any violation of the laws of physics. However, he concluded it was probably his imagination and sensory deprivation included illusion. But how does this illusion arise? In Switzerland, Dr. Olaf Bling and his colleague scientist who can induce this effect at will conducted experiments with some of their patients suffering from debilitating seizures originating from the right temporal lobe a grid of approximately 100 electrodes was placed over the brain to locate the region responsible for the seizure following the removal of a portion of the skull in these epileptic patients this procedure does not cause pain because the brain lacks of pain receptors allowing for the removal of a significant portion of the skull while the patient remains conscious during this process 
the electrodes stimulate the area between the parietal and the temporal lobes of the brain simultaneously. Those patients had a sensation of leaving the body and felt floating six feet above their bodies. When the electrodes are turned off, the out of body sensation disappears immediately. Different parts of the brain handle different sensory information. For example, one part of the brain deals with hearing, while another part of the brain deals with eyesight. When these two areas are stimulated simultaneously, individuals often report having an out of body experience. This phenomenon occurs because our brain relies on sensory input from eyes and inner ears to create a model of our location in space. When the signals from these two sources contradict each other, the brain becomes confused about our location. These confusions can lead to nausea and vomiting. Many people develop seasickness when they are on a rocking board because their eyes looking at the cabin wall tells them they are stationary, but their inner ears tell them they are swaying. This mismatch between these signals causes them to become nauseous. The remedy is to look at the horizon so that the visual image matches the signals from the inner ear. The message from the eyes and inner ear can also disrupt it electrically at the boundary of the temporal and parietal lobes and this is the origin of out of body experience. In other words, if there is a contradiction that the brain cannot resolve. Scientists who did this and said probably it happened in car accidents. It probably happens when you are injured. It probably happens when you are shocked, unconscious or experience some kind of brain injury. The brain gets confused because it's being stimulated in the ways that don't seem make any sense. Temporary loss of blood or oxygen or excess carbon dioxide in the blood can also cause a disruption in temporoparietal region and induce out of body experiences. But the brain of course tries to make a sense of everything, never simply accepting confusions. To resolve the conflicting signals, the brain creates a story and that story is that you are literally leaving your body, resulting in this out-of-body experiences. The same phenomena is observed in the case near-death experience. When people describe floating above their own bodies or entering a light-filled tunnel, neuroscientists suggest that in moments of extreme stress, such as cardiac arrest, the temporoparietal junction is disrupted, creating the sensation of leaving one's body such as modern interpretation remained as that the mysteries of consciousness might be grounded in the brain's need to make sense of disordered stimuli as we conclude our invention into out of body experience remember the human mind remains an endless source of wonder we have simply scratched the surface of this captivating subject Keep exploring, keep questioning and join us on our quest to understand the mysteries of the mind. Astronomer and science communicator Carl Sagan famously said, extraordinary claim requires extraordinary evidence. This highlights a core principle of science. In science, every claim must be testable, reproducible and open to falsification. This rigorous approach is what enabled us to distinguish the fact from belief and build a reliable understanding of the world. Don't forget to hit the like buttons if you found this journey fascinating and be sure to subscribe for more intriguing contents. Thank you for embarking on this adventure with us. Thank you.